Another night with a new nightmare. With a dark nightmare, actually. They bombed my area. And they were bombing randomly, anywhere, everywhere. So, so we decided to move to the hospital. The nearest hospital in my, in my area, in Tal El Hawa. It's Al Quds Hospital. It was nine o'clock, about nine. <clears throat> and because they were bombing everywhere, we just moved and left our house with with the children, with my mother, father, brother, and his, his wife. We moved and we went to the hospital. They were bombing above our heads. We were just terrified. terrified. We didn't know if we will reach the place like safely or not, alive or not. But we reached there, and I and when I reached there, I asked my father a question: "Are we safe?" Yesterday they bombed the hospital, Muhammadani Hospital. So they 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 can bomb Al Quds Hospital as well. There's nothing like. Uh, not uh, allowed for them. There's nothing like prohibited for them. Everything they can do whatever they want, and, and no one tells them no. So, uh, what will stop them from 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 bombing the hospital? He didn't answer, and not answering me means we were in danger, and. Literally, we didn't know. We didn't know if 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 we did right or wrong. We stayed there the whole night, and when the sun rose, we moved and returned to our house. I can't describe how how much the day was. This night was awful, was terrifying, and was dirty. I'm sorry to say this word, but but. More than 1,000 people were there, and people were just above each other. I don't know. Uh, we were like, we were dying. We were dying dirt. <laughs>